Hey guys, it's me, Greta. Um, I was in the mood to do another video today. So, I promised if I got my computer and my camera and everything going, um, I would definitely start doing more videos. So, a couple things that I wanted to talk about today. Um, one is, if you guys noticed, I finally got my new uh, investment going on. So, um, which brings me to one thing, you know, I definitely wanted to talk to you guys about, like, I see so many of you guys, you know, that I've gotten to know or, you know, that I follow on my Facebook. Like, so many of you come complacent or, you know, just find it, just kind of get to a spot where it's like, you know, it's okay for you guys to go out and splurge a little on yourself, you know. One thing I noticed now that I got my my um, my extensions in, it's like it just made me realize how tweaking little things here or there, or just making certain changes in your body, or you know maybe it's going to get a really cute outfit, or maybe it's those pair of jeans that just you know fit you like a glove, or maybe it's adding extensions, or you know it's like it had been a very long time since I spent, you know yeah I always go shopping here and there, but that I really invested into giving myself something that was just going to um the way I feel. Not to say that, you know, I feel any less with short hair or anything, but it's like, I just feel like I got my sexy back. Like, you know, yeah, I always felt sexy with short hair, but it was just something about having long hair again that it was just like, it was just, you know, totally like, like the old Greta's back. The old sexy Greta is, is back, you know? So with that said, you know, like I encourage you guys, like even though, you may be losing a lot of weight and you don't want to buy, you know, too much clothes or whatever it may be. Like, I can't stress enough to, you know, go out there and if you're a mommy, if you're a wife, if you're, or even if you're single, like, it's okay to invest into yourself. It's okay to splurge, you know? It's like, the better you feel about yourself, as minimal the change might be, or, or maybe it's tanning, or maybe it's, you know, getting your nails done. Whatever it may be, like, I so encourage you guys just to, you know, make those little changes. Because you'd be surprised how much it would just energize you just to keep going. Like, you know, just tweaking little things, even even just in life in general, you know. It's like people come so complacent, whether it's in their relationship, whether it's at their job, whether it's, you know, like, strive to, I guess what I'm trying to say is whatever it may be in your life, strive to make little changes. Start small, you know, and as you start gaining more confidence and more, you know, just more confident in yourself, things will start to fall into place. So that was something that I kind of wanted to talk about. Um, another thing is, I don't know if you guys noticed, but your girl's neck, I um, wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I haven't gotten my stuff yet to do body wraps, but my girlfriend actually gave me some of hers. And I did arm, uh, wrap my arms on, let's see, today I'm on my third day, so tonight will be my complete of 72 hours. So I wrap my arms and I wrap my neck, okay? Um, I haven't measured myself since an hour and a half into wrapping. I was already down like almost an inch in my neck, and I was down almost an inch and a quarter, I think, in each arm. So I'm excited to see where I'm at tonight, um, but I do notice a significant difference in my neck. Like, even though I know I had lost weight, but, you know, like, I still felt like in pictures I still had that pudgy neck, you know? And I noticed, like, just from, you know, just from one wrap, like, I noticed a significant a significant difference so I am gonna keep wrapping my neck because I'm just like so pumped like even in pictures I'm like oh like before I used to have to you know pose differently but now it's just like no matter where I pose like hey you know I got the slim neck go going on so that's kind of an update on that um, you know I'm also excited to see all the girls that have been ordering um, from my website you know I'm excited to see them start wrapping this week and kind of give me their results and their and their input on that um, which brings me to another topic I wanted to talk about. Um, you know, I've been kind of seeing on Facebook the last couple of days, which has, which I think this has to do with everything in your life, you know. One is I've been seeing a lot of people dealing with issues as far as like, you know, and I talk about this all the time in my past videos, you know, about their families not being accepted, accepted of their decision um friends boyfriends husbands you know and at the end of the day like you know not everybody has to be okay with the changes you make in your life you know it's 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 funny how 
people kind of stay under the radar, you know, they don't say too much, but yet when they see something, you know, that interests them on your Facebook or something they want to give an opinion about, like they come out the woodworks, like all of a sudden you have people that care, you know? So with that, on that subject, it's like at the end of the day, you have to do what's right for you, you know? People will give their opinion. People will do as far as you let them do at the end of the day, really. You know, my mom always says, you know, don't, don't, don't give people the license to, you know, speak on what you're going through. And she's right, you know, it's like so many people can give you an opinion, but at the end of the day, you have to do what's right for, for yourself and you have to make your own decision. One thing that I also wanted to talk about was about con consistency. Um, consistency, for example, you know, I've had a lot of people now that I've started to venture out and doing the body wraps, the body app applicators. I've had a lot of you ask me, you know, well, is it something that's permanent? You know, um, you know, one, a lot of people are skeptical because they're like, oh, that's just to lose water weight. It is not to lose water weight. But a lot of people, a lot of you have asked me, well, is it something that's permanent? The way I see it is, and I talked about this already in like my previous video, there's nothing permanent in life. Just how gastric bypass or lap band is a tool for us to lose weight, you know? Guess what? If we don't keep up on it, if we don't keep track, we are going to gain weight back. That's just the reality of life, okay? Guess what? If you go get Botox, they say it's probably three to eight months, you know, that that will last you. So guess what? You have to get Botox again. Plastic surgery cosmetic surgery you have a tummy tuck what happens yeah you look great but if you don't work out you don't eat healthy and you start gaining weight and you just don't care uh you're gonna get your stomach back you know so with that said this is a semi to permanent pr product but again you know there is sculpting gels to help you keep keep up you know i mean you can wrap once a month to keep up i guess just i guess my point that i'm trying to make is you know i'm always one to share on my page but I don't want people to start coming back because I'm sharing this information, you know. Oh, well, you know, you said it was going to do this and, you know, this didn't happen or that didn't happen. At the end of the day, like, we're all adults. Yeah, I'm putting this information out there. You know, just like the protein shakes. I put the protein shakes out there, you know, and it's like some people, you guys love them, you know. Others didn't care for them too much. But it's all personal preference. You know, for example, I'm going to have cosmetic surgery. A lot of you don't want cosmetic surgery. A lot of us can't afford cosmetic surgery. So I guess my point that I'm trying to make is everything I put out on my page is from personal experience. What works for me may not work for another, okay? And, you know, I have had to delete someone off my page not too long ago because, you know, it's like, I understand some things may work for some, some things may not work for another, but you don't have to go that extra mile to dog everybody else, you know? I've always been a big advocate about, you know, trying stuff out a couple times and, you know, um, whether, whatever it may be, but you have to be consistent. I've had a lot of people ask me about P90X. It's great. Some people like it. Some people like, oh, it's too intense. But you know what? Give stuff a chance. Like, you can't expect something to work and be like, okay, that's it. I'm never going to do it again. No. You know, if you're going to work out, make it consistent. Everything in life. I don't care if it's for your body. I don't care if it's in a relationship. I don't care if it's in your kids. You have to be consistent. It's like trying to tell a child not to do something, but then the next day, you, you let them do it without reprimanding them. Everything in life is about being consistent, you know? And so, you know, I kind of wanted to touch on that because, like I said, you know, I've already had to delete someone off of my page, you know, and I'm a big person where I will share everything and anything. Like, even if it's a newbie on YouTube, I will post her on my page, you know, and I'll say, hey, everybody, here's a newbie, you know, show your support. Because I believe in sharing and I believe in, you know, the more the merrier. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not one that will put up with negativity on my page, you know. So we're all adults. I'm not a doctor. I'm not, you know, a therapist. Like we are all here to give advice as best as we can based, of, based on our own experiences. But again, you know, you have to be consistent in everything that you do. So I just kind of wanted to touch on that. You know, I'm so excited for this week to come. I've seen so many of you guys like, man, you guys are just killing it. Like I thought I was on it. You know, you guys keep me in check sometimes. I wanted to say hey to Miss Pippa. You know, I know she had knee surgery, so I hope you feel better. And, you know, all my weight loss surgery girls that we follow, every, um, you know, every 